I am. I didn't. The stream tonight. I was considering it, but I thought, you know what? I got off at like seven o'clock. Oh, this, this, this is a bullshit today. Okay, so we're hauling. I'm hauling asphalt all day, right? And we're hauling it to Laramore, which is about a twenty-eight mile drive. Not all right. Far. I didn't get to stream properly earlier because I was just fucking out of it. The second layer of a this four, like forty, forty thousand tons of, of asphalt to pave, right? Like, and we're just starting the second layer on the first first half. So about three loads into the day, and on the fourth load, um, the hot plant operator tells me, "Hey, um, thing is calculated." To one more truck. I'm like, fuck it, I'm the last truck. Okay, cool. Awesome. I drive up there. It's a section. It's about, I want to say, 12 feet wide hmm. by maybe 17, 18 feet long. It's literally like maybe four tons of asphalt at most. And I've got 24 tons this? in my box. Okay. So afterwards, so I'm going to pave in. The supervisor comes up and says, hey, Whenever they're done and they load you back up with the excess, when they clean the paper out, take the load south to this intersection and there'll be a couple guys there with a skid steer and they're going to have you dump it into the manhole, uh, manhole cover holes. And you pass that load in the manhole. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, cool, cool. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon, about four or six ish. I get, I get. I get, I dump all the asphalt and use the paper. Clean the paper out, they scrape all the excess up, put it back in my box. I drive over there. The guy's like, okay, you're gonna dump half the load here, so we can get to these, like, four or five manhole cover areas, and then just wait here for us. Okay, cool. So I dump half the load, pull up the side of the road, put my hazards on, lock my tailgate, and I proceed to then put YouTube on my phone mm. and plug into my radio. Just sit there and wait. Next thing you know, within five minutes, it starts raining. Then it starts windy and raining. Then it's even more rain. And more rain. And now I can barely see outside my window because there's so much rain. And I'm like, oh, great. I've got asphalt drying in, this, in my truck bed. Awesome. 45 minutes later, rain stops. And these guys are gone. I don't see the skid steer. I don't see any of the laborers walking around with shovels or with packers. I don't see the pickup truck or the trailer. I'm like, where the fuck do these dudes go? Where the hell are they? I sit there for another half an hour. I sit there for over a fucking hour. Finally, out of nowhere, the dude just gets to just shows up and scrapes up a scrapes up a bucket worth of the pile of asphalt that's sitting in the middle of the road. I'm like, where the fuck is he going? Where the hell has he been? takes it down a block and then over a block and then just disappears behind a bunch of trees. I'm like, is there fucking way over there? I I, I was so shocked. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? And then finally he shows me this. He goes, all right, follow me. I'll show you where to dump the rest of it. Proceeds to drive. Proceeds to guide me like no. two and a half or three blocks down the road. He goes, okay, dump the rest right here in the middle of the road. Whatever you say, boss. Like, is that all? Am I done? He goes, yeah, that's all we need. Later. I'm like, fucking Ooh. hell, it's like 6 o'clock in the night. Iron Bull has a quest. It is taking me over two fucking hours to jump, dump one load of asphalt. And I only drove 28 yes. fucking miles. Like, I know, I'm gonna, like, I know I'm gonna get yelled at by somebody. Because they're gonna be like, why the fuck did you just dump a load of asphalt? Neon, thank you for the raid. Stupidest day I've had by all four loads of material and all it's all day. Oh no! Turn that down. Thank you for the read. The Benhasras have been reading my report. I got it. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. And they really don't like Red Lyrius. They're ready to work with us. With you, boss. The Kunari and the Inquisition. Okay. It could be a powerful alliance. My people have never made a full-blown alliance with a foreign power before. 
This would be a big step. They found a mass of red lyrian shipping operation out on the coast. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big war ships in action. Did you see that? Go get some water. Mm. They're worried about shipping the smugglers, so no honor. My charters, you, maybe some backup. You don't seem entirely happy about this. No, I'm good. It's just, uh, I'm used to them being over there. It's been a while. I thought Canari wanted to extend their reach to the whole world. Yeah, just didn't think I'd see. Look, the Kuhn answers a lot of questions. It's a good life for a lot of people. But it's a big change, and a lot of folk here wouldn't do so well under that kind of I guess it's not like we're converting. This is just us joining forces against charisma. I'll be right back. Hmm. I'll be here. But this is a lion mm. really get us. Oh. They wouldn't use the word alliance if they didn't mean it. Naval power. More Ben Hassas reports. Kunari soldiers pointed at the Venatorian. It could do a lot of good. Mm, I might as well see what this is all about. Pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. The sight of him warms the heart. Let's see what this is all about. Hey Leon, what's up man? How are you doing tonight? Oh, so a chance to actually work with the Kunari without them having to burn down a whole fucking city. Ain't that something? When you try to do things like right and peacefully in the second game, you fucking the Kuhn one just wants to burn the whole goddamn city. Good to see you again, Hisrod. God, last I heard, you were still in Sahara. They finally decided I'd come back to the world. Boss, this is Gat. The what? We worked together in Sahara. We're in the city down. I used to be fast. Hisrod's report they were doing good. Over a book. Under the Kuhn, we used titles, not names. My title was Hisra, because I was assigned to secret work. You can translate it as Keeper of Illusions, or... Liar. It means liar. But you don't have to say it like that. I'm only here because we both want to stop Corypheus. Indeed. The Tevinter Imperium is bad enough without the interference of this Venatory cult. If this new form of Lyrium helps them seize power in Tevinter, the war with Kunandar could get worse. With this stuff, the Vince could make their slaves into an army of magical freaks. We could lose the Hera and see a giant Tevinter army come marching back down here. Why do they just pick up a piece of shit? Ben Hasrath agree. That's why we're here. 
Our dreadnought is safely out of view and out of range of any Venatory mages on shore. Oh, we still alive, yeah. need to eliminate the Venatory, then signal the dreadnought to come in and take out the smuggler ship. Oh, only a necromancer gets this ship. Oh, fine. I thought two of them. What the hell did I think of? There might be Venatory mages on the ship as well. If the dreadnought can't handle them, it's unlikely there'll be more than two or three mages on the ship, and they'll be dead by the third shot. On land, though, a half dozen Venatori attacking the Dreadnought from cover could do some serious damage. If it's dangerous for the Dreadnought close to shore, level up Jedi system class priority quest. Complete the them on the paddle section. Unlock complete rogue troop potential. I could have crushed any Venatori resistance with the Inquisition's main force. Why not use it? Because then the Venatori would have seen you coming and run. They'd schedule a new shipment later, and our spies might not know when or where. Hmm. Yes, but it's our best chance to destroy the ship. So far, he's making all valid points. What do you think, boss? No, no. I've never liked covering the dreadnought well. Too many ways for crap to go wrong. If our scouts underestimate enemy numbers, we're dead. If we can't lock down the Venatory mages, the ship is dead. It's risky. Riskier than letting Red Lyrium into Minrathos. Let's go hold up our end of the bargain. My agent suggested two possible locations the Venatori may be camped to guard the shore. There, and there. We'll need to split up and hit both at once. I'll come with you, boss. Grim can lead the charge. Let me fill him in. Come by when you're ready. Mm. Once they're down, send up your signal. That'll let the dreadnought know it's safe to come in. Understood, Chief. Remember, you're gonna want a volley to start, but don't get suckered into fighting at range. They've got mages. It's alright, alright. We've got a mage of our own. I'm not a mage! Get in close and take their enchanter down before he takes over the battlefield. He'll be dead before he knows it. It's so weird seeing him, like, taking this shit so serious. Normally always goofy. It really is weird to see Iron Bolt taking this shit so serious. You think? Lower and farther from the smuggler's ship. It's much less likely to be heavily defended. Suppose we'll do the heavy lifting then. Just like old times. Hmm. <laughs> I don't trust that elf. Well, the one from the queue, not the one from the chargers. Get ready. 
The fucker is guarding against my magic. Moment that's just simply called dread. Good impression of the Kuhn. Uh, fuck it, I like the Chargers. particularly care for the fucking Kanari's bullshit in the first place. Expecting that. But, like I said, I don't really trust the Kuhn in the first fucking place. I trust Iron Bull because he's giving me a reason to trust him. I don't trust the other shit. Reset, I don't trust you? It's because you told me to trust you. Inquisitor, it is my duty to inform you that there will be no alliance between our nor will you be receiving any more Ben Hathraff reports from your Talvishoff ally. You under orders to kill me, Gat? No. How the fuck did Hathraff so fast? Seriously. They'd rather not lose two. I'm proud of you. 
here. I'm not dying here as most people's famous last words. Sorry, I'm not dying here. Oh, I'm I'm long enough, there's a vent. Good to see you, Inquisitor. I have so much to live for. Just fine. Thanks to you and the chief, you had plenty of time to fall back. Breaking open a cask of Satan stack meat for the charges tonight. Damn it, Damn. Man, that's the kind of thing you don't have to mention to the Inquisitor. Sorry, Chief. Plug something up real quick. That is, um, that is the instrumental of a song for, um, the Chantry, or basically the religion of this game. Get this cleaned up and let Red know what happened. Boss, whatever I miss, whatever I regret, this is where I want to be. Whenever you need an ask, the Iron Bull is here for you. I like Iron Bull. Where the hell am I? Okay, I'm next to the stables. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
cannot get that beat out of my head. Uh, you, you this I'm my damn bed, man. I'm about to start fucking... I'm about to mute your ass. I gotta some fucking YouTube videos and some other music. Uh, you heard that. On Winter Radio, good old Mr. Knight is requesting a classic at max volume. Mm-hmm. Uh, back and I made match You know the um you know, have to, uh, a different one? Because I can give you a different song. No! Come on! You, you, know, you know, you know, you know that, um, you know that's Chrono. You know that, uh, <laughs> the music at the beginning of the game in the start menu, that's basically just the uh -huh. instrumental version of the Chantry song? Yep. I can't stop on me because it's stuck in my head. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so I just... <laughs> I keep humming it because it's stuck in my head. Well, if you got one song stuck in your head, the way to get it out is to have a different song stuck in your head. Don't you fucking do it. I'll do it. Yes, it goes on and on. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Snake. Oh, the snake. Badger, 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 badger. Oh God! It is a good thing that is not considered insta death. Luckily for me, there are no enemies at the moment. All right, so I just finished Iron Bull's uh, personal quest. What happened? What happened? Uh, I saved the Chargers. I don't know if that was the right choice, but that's what I felt was right. You did what with the chargers? I saved the chargers. Oh no, that's the right choice. Is that just your personal opinion, or are you saying that's like the actual right choice? Well, do you like Iron Bull and like having him like you? Uh, I like him liking me as a friend. Then you have made the correct choice. And you'll find out why in the DLC. Okay. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, I'd be humming that shit at work. I mean, it's catchy. Ooh, I got royal elf fruit. I can explore, exp can expand, one. fuck. I can expand Storm Coast. Yep. Which I'm assuming is what's behind that door that hasn't been openable up until now. Yep. So you're probably not going to be able to deal with whatever's on the other side of the door. Guess we won't know until I get there. I had someone working on something else and I don't remember where it is. There it is. <laughs> Fucking cheesy hash browns are the best. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> No, nah, dude, I was, I was humming that shit out loud. I was humming that shit loud as fuck at work yesterday. <laughs> well, last night to be technical That's about it. That's one thing I do like about my job is that when I want to blare some music, I can just blare it. I don't have to fucking be like, oh shit, don't want, don't want to upset somebody else. Like, That's what I love about my job is the song. fact that there is nobody to upset. I might annoy That's some guests, I, but that's about it. I mean, if you, uh, Work in kitchens, you can just play whatever the hell you want. I'd be humming. If I, if, I, if I don't get the job at the Air Force Base for the time on the snow removal crew, there's um, this cafe I go to every Sunday for brunch called Northside, and they're, they have a position opening for dishwasher. I thought, you know what, just, just to make extra money in the wintertime, because that's like my downtime in the season. Like, I could just do that. I could just work there full part time for the seat for the winter. Yep. And dishwashing is not hard, it's just annoying. No, I mean, I've done, you know, I've done it before, so it's not like I mean, a difficult thing to do. 
No, it's not difficult. It's just like I, I do actually have a tendency to get sick a little bit more whenever I was dishwashing, mostly because I was just wet all, all the time and it kind of stuck. Especially during the winter. This is like it's wet and you're cold. I guess, yeah. You cannot allow the Red Templars to maintain a foothold here. Inquisitor. That shit was, um. Yeah, but no, I was uh humming that shit at work uh when I went last night and someone I didn't realize someone had came came into the lobby. So there was some lady was asking, Well what's that? I'm like, Oh no, nah, it's not that important, it's just a religious uh beat and they're like, Oh, is it something from like Christianity? I don't know that beat and I'm like No, it's it's the worship of the holy Andraste. <gasps> And she just looked at me uh, befuddled. I'm like, you wouldn't understand, ma'am. Well, it's probably best you just don't ask questions. Yeah, I'm sorry, you're just not history enough to know this shit. I'd, I'd have had a hard time not saying Ooh, it wrong. you stupid ass just goat. To, just to be extra confusing, I'd be like, it, it's the, the, the chant of, of holy underwear. <laughs> but every underwear is holy. Especially mine. I know, mine have four. Mm -hmm. Mine have got significantly more than four. Mm -hmm. You really don't want me to answer that question. <laughs> I'm certain King Alistair would appreciate having them removed from Ferelden's store. They call it a blowout for a reason. <laughs> oh, my. Far nothing I can handle. Fuck that. Not this part that I was talking about. That's what's after. That was the last landmark I needed. Nice. Oh, okay. There we are. I was wondering how the fuck I was gonna get across that since they didn't give me operation to fix the bridge. Yeah. Do the upstairs first. That's my advice. I've always wanted to drink a health potion from an RPG, just because I'm curious about the taste. I have seen uh, some things where somebody made some uh, health potion like cocktails. Yeah. Just, you know, put them in, put them in special bottles, and honestly, if we were able to get enough of us together for some actual like shenanigans, I would make them. Oh yeah, I have a whole list of recipes for them on my phone. I also have the recipe guide on how to make a uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. That one's not super hard to figure out, though. Yeah, no shit. Anybody with taste buds can figure it out now. I also have the recipe on how to make a proper Wendy's, uh, uh, whatchamacallit? Frosty. Yeah. That is... have vanilla stuff, sir. Add chocolate powder. No. No, 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 no. If you want it to come out as smooth as theirs, you have to add um, condensed milk, uh, throw in some ice cream, and 
blend it, and then put it in the freezer for half an hour. Oh, speaking of like OG recipes, apparently I just I just two things. Uh, one, I just saw. I killed that oh, fucking golem uh, so I fast that he's still yelling. I saw. I don't use TikTok, <laughs> but I watch you know shorts on Reddit and Facebook and YouTube, and a lot of them are from TikTok, but I just don't watch them from there. There's a place apparently in New York City that makes Coke by putting the syrup in a glass and then mixing in the carbonated water. Oh, yeah, the old school way. The old, old soda school, fountain like, method? Yeah, the old yeah. school, like, original recipe without cocaine. Yeah, I, Steve, I, 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 have, I, have had, I have been there. I have had it. It tastes so much better. I don't know what it is about it, but it just tastes so much better. I refuse to do anything involving New York City, like, specifically. Anywhere else in New York, like the state, I'd be fine. Just, I don't want nothing to do with the city. I honestly never been to New York City. Don't really plan on going. Mainly because I don't really feel the need to. I mean, I would love to see... It's, it's honestly not worth your patience and sanity. It's not. Uh, I, I, that's true. It probably is. Mainly because, like, I had a chance to go to New York City, and I said, fuck that, I'd rather go to Hawaii instead. So I ended up going to Hawaii. I'd rather go to fucking get my nuts for, like pulled on by a fucking cow. I, I, I just no. Me and Red Templar key. See, I went because it was a high school uh, trip for the marching band. The marching band goes on a trip one year, and then the, and then the following year the I choir. I fucking goes. knew it. You were a part of the cool kid crowd. You son of a bitch. Ew. So my sophomore year, I went to the entire zone with the marching. Band. Just, he's just straight up then, brushed it off. Yeah, no shit. My junior year, the choir I was in was going to go to New they York City. They dropped like a go something in this thing? Go to a Broadway musical, all this fun stuff. My mom's like, oh, you should totally go. I was like, you know, I would love to, Mom. I really would. I would love to go to New York City. But that exact night, a friend of mine who was in choir who was also in the marching band with me was like, hey, you know, we're doing, you know what the marching band is doing our senior year? I said, what? They go, they're going to Hawaii. And so I told my mom, like, mom, I would, as much as I love you, and I love the idea of going to New York City and seeing the Statue of Liberty and a Broadway musical and everything, I think I'd rather go to Hawaii next year with the band. I think you I'd rather <laughs> go get my teeth pulled. Yeah. But then go to Hawaii? No, then go to New York. Yeah, no shit. I just, I have issues. Oh, there's, 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 there's that beat I've been humming. I would, I would yeah. love to see what's up. I, I just blanked on a fucking name. Damn, dude, they are smuggling Giant fucking Park. artifacts Giant like this Park shit. Central it? Park. Central Park. I would love to see that. That'd be cool <coughs> to see. Don't I do mean, it. It's not worth it. Mugged. Yeah, I was about to say, if you want to get mugged, stabbed, or just generally have a bad day, then go for it. You know what, honestly, yeah. Can't be worse than some of the bad days I've had before. Uh, oh no, it can. You'd be surprised. I mean, if I ain't got money, someone's gonna stab me for nothing. I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. Might as well stab you back and then take the knife out. Dude, I was walking through Central Park <coughs> eating an ice cream cone. That had no ice cream left in it, mind you. And a dude mugged me for the cone. <laughs> mugged you for the cone? I, I, I'm it. I mean, that's where my ex is from, is, is fucking New York City, and so, so I'm just like, nope, you're a terrible person, and I, I can't believe that anybody from there is not a terrible person. No, I'm not going to say everyone from New York City is a terrible person, because I can't say that. Yeah, but I'm going to be a hell of a lot more fucking skittish around somebody who is than I am somebody who isn't. Very true. Yeah, no, I got mugged for a fucking empty waffle cone. I got to see the, got, went to Pearl Harbor, which was fucking awesome. I got to see the Dole Plantation, cool as hell. I got to see oh, the, the pineapple. Home. Not just, not just pineapple, there were It's the great pineapple, Charlie Brown. It's, <laughs> honestly, the, the kind of thing happened, which honestly, they actually have the whole situation in the shape of a giant pineapple, I will say. It's the oh. great pineapple, cheesy Charlie. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Um, the whole plantation is the shape of a pineapple, which is cool as hell. But then there's an ass little red lyrium, dude. Do was everything was pineapple flavor. I'm down with that. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I'm okay with that. Yogurt, 
ice cream, the soft serve, the pudding, like everything just pineapple flavor. Pineapple pudding? That I've not heard of that, and now I want to try it. It is delicious. I've had lemon pudding. It was pineapple. My grandmother ordered some offline when I was younger. And it was it was pretty fucking good. tried to run away and she said by no. by 10 fucking boys oh fuck i can see that 10 boys yeah. i yeah i can see that i'm i'm really uh, i'm sorry i'm just like really stuck on the great pineapple it's the great pineapple charlie brown uh, that was pretty funny <laughs> i'm really st i'm really stuck on that thought process oh, dude, it's okay Because mm -hmm. they had the bo they had the girls on like the fourteenth and fifteenth floor, and the boys were on the twenty fourth and twenty fifth floor. I mean, it's a pretty standard practice. Especially I mean, in schools, they want to make that didn't, sure. You know. That didn't stop me in high school when I was in fucking high yeah, school. Yeah, it didn't stop a lot of us, but like the thing is, like the, the kids. Oh, the kids so you school, include it? What were you the doing? Or the stairwell. So the shitty part was, whenever we get oh. back. Oh, I've been wondering where the Dragon Island was. Yep. The, the, like, events we were there to play our instruments in and shit like that. Whenever we got back, the whole lobby is filled with over 200 high school students, right? Yeah. And the, there are only three elevators, and they're not that big. I mean, they don't have to separate literally every second of the day just when, you know, no, no, sleeping. No, no, like, because we're in uniform, we're in our fucking like, jumpsuit uniforms, and they're like, hey, you have two hours to change, get into your grub clothes, your whatever clothes, and then you can hang out until this time when we have to go to this location for whatever reason. Like, for, for whatever, like, don't get me wrong, I love seeing Phoenix, Arizona, I love seeing Hawaii, I love those trips that I went on with the marching band and everything like that, but at the same time, Everything was so micromanaged down to the minute. We had they have to, here, they here. have to do that kind of stuff because like if fucking if, if one person's kid gets lost, left behind, or disappears, you know, it's kind of a problem. Uh, I mean that's a matter of debate. They started from actually giving us like time off to go do stuff, but they gave us like an hour this one day, a half hour this day, and like half the time it's like, yeah, you get a half hour to do whatever you want as long as you stay within this specific area we're already in it's like yeah. i really can't go do what i want because i have to stay within this like building well, i mean it's less about doing what you want and like you the whole thing is just, you get the privilege honestly of going on I, the trip in general. I i'm I, i'm okay I'm, I'm just for clear uh clarification i was one of those troublemakers but in high school my uh 10th grade the 10th grade went to um washington dc uh, first, some shit about politics or something. I don't remember. I didn't care enough, but that's that's not the point. If, um, at this point, looking back, when I was in tenth grade, maybe they should have separated us some more and kept a better eye on us, because I remember when I was dating this goth chick, and we we fucked in the elevator. Um. Luckily, we were wearing our, ho our hoodies at the time because I didn't realize that the elevators... There was cameras? No, I didn't care about that. I, I knew there were cameras, but um, there were old school cameras. So if you pointed a red laser pointer light at it, it, uh -huh. it fucked it up. But um, no, I didn't realize that the back end, uh, the back side of the elevator was just see-through glass. <laughs> so I'm just pounding this girl hard as fuck on the side of the fucking elevator inside of it 
And the only reason why I didn't know that was because when I got there, I had to go back to the bus to grab something. So I took the stairs up. So, you're a free man. You stopped somebody else in the elevator. Living the life. No, I fucked someone in the elevator. No, I'm saying, like, that's how you found out. Was I think you found out you saw somebody else in the elevator and you realized. Uh, no, because her, um, her sis, her twin sister was, um, there as well, and she apparently saw us. That's Ooh. stupidly funny. Also, have fun with the dragon fight, because that's, that's a lightning dragon. I see that. Did you already kill the fire dragon in Hinterlands? Yes. Ah. How'd you like that fight? Well, that wasn't that difficult. Well, I mean, yeah, you already leveled, you know, a couple of little passwords. You're initially supposed to do that fight, but, uh... I, there's a there's one uh, map I don't remember the name of it. It's the it's the, the Leon map, the, the the lion map or whatever the fuck, where it's all icy and snowy, and there's yeah. three ice dragons in a row. Damn. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no 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 no! Leave me alone, please don't zap me. Yeah, you can't outrun that one immediately. Cassandra's dead. No, Eric's Cassandra's dead. still alive. Why did I just try to zap the uh, lightning dragon with lightning attack? What the fuck is wrong with me? Uh, shenanigans? I mean, it still technically does damage, just not that much. Barrick has gotten his ass handed to him like three times. I, uh, I need to update his armor now that I think about it. I don't remember when was the last time I did that. Apparently a while ago. You know what, Mr. Dragon? <laughs> Fuck you. You might not be leveled enough for this. I'm gonna go with you are correct, sir not gonna stop me from trying. I saved it when I got here, so it'll be fine. Yeah. Build up that ult again. That seems to be your main method of dealing with them. Unfortunately, you have to... Oh. You have to kill stuff to get it. Eric, I thought I revived you ages ago. You did, and then you died again. There you go. I mean, while you're invisible is the best time to fucking res him. You also might want to invest in actually making some of those regen potions and things, because, uh... Oh, I, I've those. been using them, I just keep forgetting to refill them, because I keep forgetting yep. that they don't auto-refill. Yeah. Okay, uh... I think his internet disconnected. Possible. There it is. There it is. Yeah, no, that shit was uh, awkward as fuck, finding out about that situation from her sister of all people. Yeah. Hey, just to let you know, I saw you plowing my sister in the elevator. Hmm. Shit. Uh, well, she... Okay, okay her exact words, because I remember them to this day, is... I cannot believe you didn't realize that I could see both you fucking in the elevator. And she said this to me and her sister at the same time because we were right next to each other when uh, she told us. Uh, no. No. We're both dead now. All right. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, you're done. You're done. Yep. <laughs> He just lightning bolted your ass. I have no idea what that auto save. Uh, oh, oh, oh. okay. Oh, it's just at the edge. Okay. Oh, yeah. that was close. They're pretty good about that. But yeah, no. Her... So, her sister wasn't the only one that saw us, but she was the only but one. But she's that just could the one who told you. She's the only one that could recognize us. Because that's, of the hoodies. That's funny. 
Because the back of my hoodie from back then had a giant gash going uh, across the back of it from an accident, a yard work accident at home. And uh, it, you could tell it was mine because it was very distinct if you knew me well enough at the time because it was so, the gash was sewn up. And it, you could tell I, it was a shitty job because I was the one that sewed it. Sewed it. At the time, I didn't know how to sew properly. Now I do, but yeah. back then I didn't. So I she, her sister, was the only one that realized it. But then there were reports, and by the time we, uh, our school was leaving the Washington D.C. from the field trip, there was a note slapped in elevators saying, "This is not an appropriate place to have sexual intercourse. Please go to your room." <laughs> I was a horny teenager. January 1st. You know who wasn't? 2007. Apparently, water. I yeah, but water's like the exception to a lot of that stuff. I was actually out sledding with my family, and we were at a, you know, a public lake in town. In a little town, sledding. And I fell off the sled. And he tumbled down the hill trying to have fun with it. And then, come to find out, as I tumbled at a, you know, a landing, that I broke my collarbone in three places. Very painful, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, of course, have to go to the hospital, have to get a sling, and you know, get looked at, make sure it's not, make sure it's, that's the only issue there is. Very, I think it was like within a month. My dad and brother were uh, back out there, fucking, you know, sledding, and my dad takes a picture. And what's the picture? The city actually posted a sign, a little, little sign at the top of the hill, saying if you get injured on this hill while performing any activities such as sledding, skiing, snowboarding, whatever, you cannot sue the city for injuries. Smart. Yeah, that's just somebody who got paranoid and was like, I'm gonna do this just to try and cover our asses. Pretty much. I thought it was hilarious. Kind of... Something up there just pinged. I mean, you gotta be smart these days. People will sue you over anything. You could sneeze in the wrong direction yeah, and get funny. sued. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Did I ever get that red Templar key? I don't know, I've caused a couple signs that have to be put up. Some of them were just like basic, like I did something crazy and they had to put up a sign about it. And then there are other times where it was just like... This is something. Uh, this is something obvious. Why did you do this? Well, the one time in the last thirty-something years that it snowed here, which was like, I want to say like four years ago or something, uh, there was there's a bridge that takes you from one end of this island to the other, and uh, it was snowed over and iced over and everything. So people, like the bridge was closed down. People couldn't drive anyway. So people went up there and just started sliding down it. It was only for like a day and a half, so it's not like not a big deal. But it's this the only, like it's only snowed twice here in the entirety of my life, literally like the year I was born, and then you know a couple of years ago. <laughs> there was um, my sister actually got a sign put up in the main office of the apartment complex that we lived in when I was a kid. Um, cause I was eight, she was ten, my brother was eleven or twelve, somewhere around there, but what happened was that her and some friends got together, and one of her friends found, uh, his dad's lighter fluid to, for, uh, the grill, and they all put it in, like, this tiny ass 
like big enough to cook maybe two hamburger patty grills, put the whole thing in there and threw a match in it. That's stupid. And it fucking exploded. There was fire everywhere in the field next to the apartment complex. People are screaming and freaking the fuck out. And it got to the point where they had to call the fucking fire department and then they had to call backup and then backup had to call backup because the fire spread it to the nearby train tracks. And it just got out the fucking hand. But like, at, like a, the very next day in the main office of the apartment complex, because you had to pass through it to get into the areas where all the front doors were. Because the... Everywhere else leading in was fenced off for uh, quote unquote privacy reasons. And there was a sign that was put up that said, Do not leave your children alone with flammable liquids. If caught like this again, we will be finding whoever's child it um, causes the next fire. And I'm just thinking to myself, God damn, my sister fucking caused the sign to be put up. My mom finds out about this, she's gonna kill my sister. I should Quick, tell her. I should rat her out. So, that was little. That was literally my entire thought process. So when my parents were going through a nasty um, divorce, uh, before they got divorced, they were trying to sort shit out. They were trying to, you know, talk through. They were going to couples counseling and whatnot. Well, when my mom found out who the other woman was, she Oof. went to my dad's work and chewed All right. her and him out in the middle of the office room, which is basically just this giant open area <coughs> with cubicles, you know, half walled cubicles, and then it's kind of lined with official offices, with, you know, glass walls and doors. And the way you got to this office is the second second floor of the of the, the building, which is the building was demolished. And so you go into the main lobby and there was a couple of women like you talk to if you had to like if you wanted to get your get something set up or you wanted to, you know, change you had to change your address or whatever. And then you go through another door to the right that would lead you upstairs and you talk to someone and they buzz you into the room with the rest of the with everyone there. But you, that's how it used to be. But then one day I'm downtown, and I'm like, hey, I'm going to go grab lunch with my dad. So I go, to, I go to his work, and I walk in, and I try and go through the door. And so I walk through the door, and I pull it, expecting it to just open, because I've done it a hundred times. And it's locked. It's just, damn. What the fuck? Why is it locked? I go to use the elevator. Nope. Got, got, a, got a fucking sensor on it now. You have to, you have to fucking have a, an ID badge with a sensor on it. Lays a cat lay at the front desk. Can I help you? Yeah, my name is so and so. I'm here to see my dad, so and so. And you can wipe the door lock. This lady, without realizing what my last name is, said, Oh, well, last week we had a security issue because some psycho woman went upstairs and chewed her husband and his mistress out. And I'm oh, like, sweet. some psycho woman, you say? You mean my mother? Because I'll jump to this counter and show you how psycho I am. Can you please call my dad down now? And this woman looks at me with like, and, like all of the blood rushes from her face. Like, she is officially terrified. Because <laughs> I, I was like in my late teens, early, I was like in my early 20s, and I was a, I'm a fucking 6 foot barely 200 pound dude <coughs> pretty good built muscle and she just is like, what the hell did I just say like, uh huh, do you want to fucking repeat yourself a bit? no, 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 no and I, actually, oh. I actually, um I actually remembered that story a couple of years ago, and I told that to my mom. And I'm like, hey, mom, did you know that at dad's old work in Lincoln, you were actually, I actually heard some woman refer to you as the psycho woman. 
She goes, what? I tell her, yeah, after you busted into the freaking uh, the offices with dad and his girlfriend and chewed his ass out, I went there a couple, about a week later to go have lunch, and some woman said, informed me that the reason they now lock the lobby door so you can't go upstairs is because you, some psycho woman, chewed out your husband and his mistress. And her mom just goes, she just had this smirk on her face like, damn right. Okay, so I, I didn't cause this one that I'm about to tell you about. But... For those that don't know, I used to work for um, this. Um, let's just let's just call it um, an adult uh, entertainment den, but it wasn't like of the stripper variety. You like you could actually um, entertain yourself with the people inside. I worked as um, security, so. On my day, oh, what is actually a very cool mask, kind of spooky. Anyways, um, <laughs> I was off work for uh, a week. I was on vacation because I had to take it. I was required to take it. When I came back, there was a sign in the employee break room that said, "I do not care how much they pay you." Sex pyramids should never have more than four people at a time involved. We cannot afford injuries. The insurance will not cover it if it's of our own mistake. I have no idea what happened because whenever I asked about it, I was told not to ask too many questions. But all, for all I know, apparently someone built a sex pyramid higher than three people and obviously the customer was the fourth person involved, but it was higher than three employees and somebody getting injured. Other than that, I don't know what happened. The fact that they found that many people willing to do that kind of thing is... is you know, I, I worked is. in a place... Ooh, well, for legal reasons, I can't say its real name, so we're just going to call it the Foxhole. I worked in a place called the Foxhole, and it was pretty much, <clears throat> you would pay, come in, you would, um, first and foremost, to get inside, you had to sign a waiver that said you were not allowed to talk about anything that happens inside, at all, uh, an NDA, there we go, that's what I was trying to remember what the name was called, the initials were called. A non-disclosure agreement. On top of that, to do anything physically interacting with the employees, you had to have medical proof that you were carrying no venereal diseases of any kind. Okay, uh, don't don't say it now, but like, I wanna, I'm curious where the fuck this was, so just like message it to me later or tell me after the stream or something, because I genuinely uh, am curious. I, w I will tell you the state. That is in New York. Ah, okay. I was just gonna say. I cannot. I cannot give a specific area, but it is in New York. Um. That makes sense. And the empl hell, the employees had to get regularly tested every thirty days to make sure they weren't carrying anything. That's, you know, that's actually kind of yeah. neat. That's actually kind of neat. You had to shower after each session. You could. You had to shower between customers. You absolutely had to shower. I will say I did have an ex-girlfriend um, Well, you were you were committing you were doing uh this job was doing sexual the the non-security employees were doing sexual things with people that were paying for it. <clears throat> so you had to uh, get tested to make sure no one passed anything on because a, quite a few of our customers were um Of higher standing, if you catch my drift. So, so in essence, them bitches was hooking. Yes. And yeah. like there, I, I, I have, I have seen things. I, bet. I, 
I I have seen old ladies in riggings hanging upside down. That's a mental image I really didn't need. Yeah, seriously, my dude. That, that there's there's okay kind of things to be talking about, and there's things you just give them regardless. We could be the best. Yeah. I could be your fucking blood brother. I would still be like, dude, TMI, TMI, TMI. Just so you know, all of those things are just boost to your overall power, like what you would get for uh, <laughs> I just leveled up my influence. Yep. You can just buy all of these to level up your influence. As So as long as you have money, you have as much influence as you want. And you can go and get all of the fucking bonuses from the, from the table. Yeah, dude, it was just like, like, I have seen some things, dude. Like, I have seen some of the most beautiful people in the world doing some of the freakiest shit. I've ever seen, and People I have. People like to poop on each other. I yes, unfortunately, we had a we had a room Germans for that. That was in the in the basement, and there was a drain at the bottom. And God damn it, Mel Gibson. I I mm, mm, hmm. Uh, speaking of Mel Gibson, <laughs> you know what? Nope, can't can't NDA NDA. Oh, I just gonna... said a random name. I am going to keep that process to thought to myself. <laughs> the intrusive thoughts are coming. I'm trying so hard because on the off chance that they find out who I am and they find Don't. out that I talked about this, I will get in so much trouble. <laughs> I was gonna say, get, get the lock on, on some NDAs. Don't they have like a time limit? Not uh, this one. It is a lifetime. Uh, and it is a perfectly legal lifetime NDA. I had it checked. I could, I could never, ever, ever sign an NDA. Because I know at some point I'm going to... You know, I'm <coughs> my deathbed. I, if I had to sign an NDA, I would, like, disclose everything about it on my deathbed. Because then I'd be like, hey, what are you going to do? Don't <laughs> forget to me. Okay, I'm so dead. here, 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 here's, here's the issue with that. And mind you, I had a lawyer check, at, check this all over. The NDA, part of the NDA clause stated that if you spoke out about what happened, anyone that you are in a relationship with will receive the fine if you die. Really? So if, like, I'm on my deathbed and I start talking about that shit out loud, the poor, work on the port is underway. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure they probably don't remember me, I think. Maybe. Honestly, I'm not entirely like sure. Honestly, you could... It's like, I could tell someone that I'm in absolutely zero, like, it has zero relationship to me whatsoever. No family. I could be the last person. It's like, if I tell one random person who doesn't know what this business is, has no idea where it's located, and I tell them, it's like, you're really going to go after my family members that I didn't, the family members that I didn't tell about this. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, that's kind of how guys, that stuff works. That, that, that is a level of paranoia that is just ridiculous. Yeah, that's how it is when you deal with anybody rich or famous or anything like that. There's a lot of that stuff where I am because it's it's a place where a lot of people go for vacations and, and a lot of tourists and things like that. The big golf community thing. Hey, Chrome, is the stream still fine? Yeah, it's still fine. Okay, then Chrome on my computer is just acting stupid. Probably needs an update. But, yeah, no. It, like, it, like, you just... Because when I originally started there, I had no idea what this place was about. All I was told by my friend, she all she said was, hey, you want to be security? I was like, sure, why not? She was like, all you have to do is just look scary and make sure people stay out of trouble. I was like, okay, yeah, that sounds simple enough. <laughs> then, I, then I went there the first time, and it's just like, oh, okay, this is all happening now. Well, big, big question, big question. <laughs> Was the pay good? I mean, in places like that, yeah, the pay's gonna be pretty decent. Dude, I worked, I worked four days a week, and I made twenty five dollars an hour to keep my mouth shut and keep people out of trouble. You are goddamn right. The pay was good. Plus, on top of that, I was treated as, I was treated as the um the lady that ran the place. I was treated as her little personal fuck toy for a while, and that wasn't so bad. It wasn't until she started trying to like, like get that baby better. 
No, when she started trying to involve more than uh more than me, her and her uh husband. That's when it because after at first I didn't really have too much of an issue. It was her and her husband, fine, whatever, fuck it. But then she started trying to involve like six other people and I'm just like, oh, okay, this is this is too much. That's, that's a lot. That's too much for me to handle. My brain I can't process all this. Yep. I yeah. That's when somebody gets a surprise finger in their butthole and it's just like, okay, everybody chill. Not okay. All uh, honestly, the most I've ever had, most I've ever been Dude, I am running out of shit. I have uh, that to me, officially ran out of shit. Like, yeah, you know uh, Did you complete oh. the first DLC area? No, I haven't even touched it yet. You might be roughly where you need to be to do that. Yeah. I was thinking about finishing the Exalted Planes, or at least getting most I mean, of it done. Yeah, I mean, certain things don't really unlock more stuff until after you progress sometimes, but, uh, yeah, go ahead and, like, finish things one area at a time if you can. Alright, uh... <laughs> Something finishes the second you leave. I know, it's, it's fucking driving me nuts. I need to get a favor for a favor, which will give, uh, let me, s hang on, let me see which one it's called. No, it's Sterling Reputation, so that the stuff I sell is worth more, so that I can then get elite clientele. You also need to get the lockpicking upgrade. So that way I can eventually get, oh, actually, next time I get an Inquisit, uh, another perk, I can get the shortlist. Which will un okay. unlock the special uh, inventory stuff that people sell. Yeah, I'm just saying, don't forget to get the lock breaking upgrade because there are a lot of places you need to actually physically get to that you can't without that. Darn it, darn it. Yeah, no. Honestly, oh, all in all, it was. It... Wait, what'd you say, Corona? Don't bother doing the resource uh, stuff with the, the table quest. Oh, I know. It's just like right now, I don't have anything else to do. Mm -hmm. Like, all in all, the job was not, like, it wasn't terrible. But... It... It's just... Some... You just... You would see things you wouldn't expect to see, is all. I mean, but all in all, they were, it was it was a nice job. My my coworkers were super nice. The the oh my god, the health benefits of fits were so fucking good. Like, I understood why they provided these amazing health benefits for the uh, you know the 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 employees that did the deed. I understood that. He you said but, you saved Iron Bull's people, right? Yeah. No, I saved um, I saved the Chargers. Yeah. Okay. I j was just looking because, like, when I, I saw the player card for him, it looked like all sad and shit. So that was like. Yeah, that's all the Canaries that, just... that are dead. Oh. Okay. Sorry. I, I didn't get a good look at it. But the insurance, health insurance, was so good. The um, because you had. You had general health insurance, you had dental, you had eye care. Um, hell, if you wanted to get um, your two, like, I found this out from my female friend that got me the job. If you wanted to get your tubes tied or get a vasectomy, the job would cover it 100%. They would pay for I mean, the yeah, whole that's a, thing. That's a good thing for them anyway because it's less risk on their end of being like, hey, you, this happened hell, because of you. Or... They would give you paid time off after the surgery, too. Like, even if you didn't have paid time off, they would still give you paid time off. It's weird how some of the, like, you know, those types of jobs give you the best benefits somehow and, and are better than, like, what people would consider to be a legitimate job. No shit, dude. I don't, I, I think I don't, I don't think I had that good of benefits. I pay a butt ton for mine. Mm -hmm. Bro, the fucking, the... The, the the female owner, her husband was such a big animal person. If your uh pet got sick, 
he would pay the entire uh, bill for the vet. Wow. Yeah, no, they why, would. Why is it that the people who run businesses that everybody considers to be like, you know, bad or something like that, you know, or, or unsavory, are, are way better employers than fucking Yeah, no, else? those people were chill as fuck. Every restaurant I've ever worked at was run by some jackass who like, tried to threaten to fire you if you ever fucking got sick for a day. Dude, I, fu I fucking love that job. I wish I would have stuck with it. I had a job. It was about an I enjoyed it. But looking back, I realized how exploited it was. I used to work at a uh, for a demolition company. It's not. And honestly, I had fun doing it, mainly because I just you know, let me smashy, get smashy. Yeah. Welcome when they say, the "Hey, here's the pickaxe, here's the sledgehammer, see these five rooms, they need to be one big room." Yeah. Like, it needs to be one big room and nothing less. Okay, cool. Leave me alone for three hours. We should be wary of Roy Lyrian. You know, that kind of shit. Leave me alone for 30 minutes. I'll fucking have that done. But there was a day. There was a day I was working. And I, I kid you not, it was probably the worst day looking back on it. So there, we were taking a, we were doing Whoa. a dismantling job. This place is big. Hospital mm -hmm. building, right? And one of the other crews demolished part of the ceiling and so on the very top floor that we were working on that day there was this giant i you must be shaper a trust for lard in this place the shaper it welcomes you to the deep room so um bringing up the hospital there was um this um this special program, uh, a special feature of the job was that there would be people that would pay to have one of our employees sent to a hospital room for one last um, wink, wink, nudge, nudge before they passed away. To put away. it in terms of The Sims, one last woohoo. Yeah. The quake's collapsed this mine and shattered it. The Legion of the Dead hasn't been able to mend the broken seal, and we can't afford to lose any more Lyria. I've read about the Legion of the Dead. They commit their lives to the cause and celebrate their own funeral. No matter their sins or not, the Legion die noble deaths. What will happen if... The surface needs Lyrium for all sorts of magic. The Inquisition, and Orzammar's economy relies on the Lyrian trade. Without it, there will be chaos above and below. Orzammar deals in the Darkspawn all the time. Why require... The Legion isn't prepared for this level of disaster. Any threat to the flow of Lyrium requires immediate response. The Inquisition is the only force we can rely upon. The Inquisition... Without a steady Lyrium supply, things on the surface will get... Oh, damn. Apologies for pushing. I fear the damage that tremor caused. Follow me. Hmm? Oh, shit.
fucking laser light shit going on right now. Damn, this thing is durable. reached this point, the Legion must be overwhelmed. Let us hurry. They corrupt everything, even the air. Even the air. The amount of lawsuits that you had available to you at that time. That's the there you go. It's a uh, something. I don't know what type of dark spawn that is. Our looks have been updated. Yep. Those are Genlocks. Oh. The, the little stubby ones with big arms. Dude, Genlocks. like I've had the opportunity to sue a job in the past. Like actually, one of my more recent jobs. Um, when I was working for um, for legal reasons, we're just gonna call it uh, Windows. Um, because they fired me because I had COVID and I couldn't come to work for, um, like, I think it was like three days or something like that. So they fired me and my stepdad and my mom were just like up in arms trying to get me to fucking sue them and everything. And you really just, should have. 
I everyone keeps telling me that, but like the amount of complications that I had, I was dealing, like I was dealing with just to get this done. They were like, "Oh, you need this, you need this, you need this," and I was, I provided it to them like they asked me to, and then they're just like, "Oh yeah, now we need this, this, and this," and I'm just like, "Okay, here you go." And then I started a new job. Now, was it the, the job that required all of this stuff? You're trying to like, prove that you that you no, had it was it or the it was the lawyer that was asking me for all this. Which, it, whatever, I mean, it's fine. I don't mind, do, like, providing all this stuff. But then, like, midway through all this stuff, like, I started a new job. And, like, the lawyer didn't contact me for, like, two weeks. And then he hits me up at, like, <laughs> like early in the morning. He calls my stepdad. And, like, he was like, oh, yeah, we need to talk to you and him. And it's just like, I just got off work. It's, like, fucking six in the morning. And I'm like, you know what, I appreciate people that are, like, really into their job and they're really zealous about it, but holy fuck. I'm, like, telling, I'm telling my stepdad, like, dude, I'm not awake enough for this. And then the lawyer's just like, oh, do you just want to stop dealing with this? And I'm like, yes, I want to go back to bed. And then, like, the guy hung up and was like, alright, well, alright, we'll leave it alone then. And... Yeah, it was... <laughs> that fucking dwarf <laughs> gave no fucks. Well, that's why you always try to look for a lawyer who's like, we'll only, you know, get paid if, as long as you win, that kind of a thing. Because there are plenty of lawyers who do that because they, they understand. The, the problem whole... wasn't the payment because I didn't care. I would pay if I lost whatever. It was the fact that, like, he's hitting me up at, like, because my job was from, I had an overnight job at a gas station from 10 mm -hmm. to 6. And this dude is waking me up at 6.30 after, like, I got home, like... At 6.10, went to bed at 6.15, and this dude's waking me up at 6.30 to talk to me, man. Like, I don't want to talk to anyone that early in the morning. I wanted to sleep. I mean, and, I, I, believe me, I understand, but, like, at the same time, you going through with everything and, and just kind of fighting through that whole bit would have probably landed you with enough money to not have to worry about immediately having to take any kind of job. I mean, that's what my grandma way, taught like, me. You heard that, yes. The rhythm of the train. It's clearer, stronger, more intense. My, uh, my grandfather, my step grandfather, and my mom's, uh, dad, blood father were all, um, were both military. My step grandfather fought in Vietnam, and my blood grandfather, he fought in the Bay of Pigs. Oh, what the fuck? When the quakes began, 
I believe we heard that echo. I believe a Titan is causing all this destruction. I've never heard of Titans before. What else can you tell me about them? The texts I found predated the first flight, and there's no mention of a Titan. Which tells you something. Speak of the stone. The stone is eternal. She was here before us. But the stone isn't your god. We don't worship her, but we do respect her. The stone makes us strong, and we return that strength to her when we die. Specific. All I heard was an earthquake. Our people have a strong connection to the stone. Shapers have <coughs> the stone sense. The vaults are better than most. Never gets lost. Serious songs often lure people to their death. This rhythm is a soft, soft effect. Mm -hmm. Air that could collapse a whole mine. In my experience, no explanation is too. For all we know, that text you found was a bedtime scene. The rhythm I sense in the quakes is emanating from somewhere. And if it comes to a fight, that'll be our job. There's a list of side paths. <laughs> Use exclusion table to complete unique exclusion. Oh, okay. Okay, what am I meant to be doing with this? Well, I mean, the more people... 30 dragon going... bones, 30 dragon scales, 30, 20 dragon webbing, what the fuck? Yep. Uh, the more people that actually start going to, to, you know, their human resources department demanding, you know, things be taken care of, and the sooner things will actually be taken care of, because, like, they're not going to change or do anything correctly if they aren't held accountable. <clears throat> Okay. I don't think I'm ever gonna get this beat out of my song, uh, out of my head. I will eventually just need something else to, uh, to do it. That didn't sound friendly. Uh, shrieks, 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 shrieks are 
Elves? Yeah, no, I think those, those are elves, yeah. The ogres of the Tunari, the Shrieks of the Elves, the Herlocks are humans, and then the Genlocks are dwarves. And every inch of it is an abomination. Yet there's probably somebody out there who wants to fuck them all because they're weird like that. <laughs> I think that was one of the more interesting rooms, uh, sections of the my old job. Was um. was fucking, uh, we had a room that was completely, uh, an area and set of employees that were completely dedicated to, um, cosplay fetishes. Weird. Yeah, the job was weird. Paid me well enough to not care. Yeah. No, I, I could definitely go for something like that nowadays myself. Tell you what, in the long run, it was 100% worth it. And at times, I do miss that job. Pay was good. Benefits were great. Uh, the guarantee that the sec any sex that you had with an employee was clean was also nice. Why are stingrays adorable? They, um... We have to find them. It's our only way through. They have the weirdest little cute faces. I think one of the more interesting uh, aspects of the entire. Wait a minute before I touch something. Oh, there's one of the gears. That gear will fit the door. Keep an eye out for others. Like one of the more interesting things about that job was the fact that the um, the woman that was in charge. She had decent connections uh, around the town, so if you did end up having to like retire from it or you just couldn't do it anymore, as long as you left on good terms pretty much, she would uh, put you in contact with someone that uh, would fit any skill sets of training that you had outside the place. I guess. And that's what I thought when I saw that blaze here. You know what would be awesome though? I really do want to open up like a, a D and D bar. Sounds like fun on a bun. It does. Okay, that one shut off. Those two.
turn this one on. And I don't remember what the prize for solving oh. this puzzle is. Huh. I thought I had to light all of them. Uh, apparently not. Superb Maybe. ring of guard penetration. Ah, penetration. Uh, We've been talking about a, a lot of piece stuff of shit. And another piece of shit and some money. Good enough for me. I mean money. It's all money. Yeah, pretty much. Something just pinged. Oh, hello there. You need a lot of those uh, gears. Like every time you come across them, collect them. They are super necessary. Be on the lookout for them. Because there's some secret treasure stuff that you have to have those to unlock the doors for. Uh, to this day, I will always regret fucking leaving that job. Uh, song is song, I but I don't know. want. I wanted. To, oh my god! This is another puzzle. I forgot about this one too. Um, you have to. What was what was the way to do this? You have to reassemble the entire pile of those rings on the opposite peg in the exact same way they are now. I think that's what it was. I. Like, this is an actual test they give to monkeys. No, I don't remember if the... you're supposed to put it on the middle or if you're supposed to put them all on the far side. Hang on. This monkey's gonna figure it out. I mean, I had to look it up how to do this because I couldn't remember the way it was supposed to work. Hang on, hang on. I got it. I got it. I, 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 I got. I got this. I got this, homie. I know exactly what I'm doing. It has to be on the far right, right? I think it was either the middle or the right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess the right first. If that's not it, then drive the middle. Oh right. Oh, move that one there. Move that one there. Did it. Did it unlock? Yep. Okay, cool. So I didn't I didn't look up dumb stupid. Fun fact, my elementary school uh gave us this test. Um yeah, it's to part of make, an IQ test. It was the test whether or not you belonged in special ed. <laughs> is what yeah, I later I, found out. I didn't get this one when I was in school. I got a different oh, one where shit. they gave you a bunch of these cut up little geometric shapes and were like, make this shape out of it, make this shape out of it, do that. Yep, that. had that one too. And I, uh, I ended up giving them answers that weren't in the test book apparently. So they were confused. I don't know if putting it back does anything, so I don't. You might be doing this for literally no reason. Are you just putting it in the middle because you can? Yes. Okay. No, not there. There. A lot of people uh, focus too much on trying to keep the. Biggest piece clear. That's right. Eat my dick, game developers. I just did that. There, uh, yeah, there's a door back there. For literally no reason. 
They're, they're, yeah, I know. I kind of figured as much. You, you can break all that stuff with, like, iron bolt or something. Just have him come and smack it for a little bit, and he'll break the barrels and the boxes. They don't really break with magic very easily. Now you gotta double tap it with the explosive mine twice. Explosive. Oh yeah, you have to collect dwarven mugs in this DLC area. Look, okay, come on, people, move. <sighs> All that sex I missed out on. <laughs> Dude, I ain't had none in like six, seven years at this point, so, uh, no failure. Yeah, how far up can I climb? You can get up around the edges of the room. I don't know if there's anything out there off the top of my head. Alright, that is 100% what I'm checking for. I found all the gears already. No, there's a lot more gears you need, like. Well, no, for that specific door, I gotta open. Oh yeah, no, there's, there's other doors, that's why I was uh, mentioning it. Like, really be on the lookout for those things, because they are in weird spots, and they are super necessary for getting the best treasure out of this place. Yeah, I think that's it for this area for right now. Yeah, look out, people, come on. Uh Don't I already have three? Mm, I don't think you have three, no. You have two. Hmm. It's gonna be in one of the rooms on the side, I don't know which one. Just remove everything that's pingable. It will eventually respawn, but you know, hopefully not for a bit. I didn't think it would respawn while I'm still in the area. I think I saw it for a second, like when you were pinging in the hallway, uh, there was a spot inside that rubble that was on the left side of the hallway. I think. Looks like there's a giant sacrificial altar back there. Uh, I meant the, the other left, like facing the opposite direction. Come on, people. Think that I, that I maybe saw one, but it's really hard for me to tell. It could have been the gold on the wall reflecting. Jumping up on, on the uh, the boxes again and getting up on the other part of the room. Up there? But you need more, you just little those boxes, like that side of the room. I didn't, you didn't go up there yet. There might be one up there. I mean, it's worth a shot. <clears throat> or just blow up all the boxes, who knows?
fuck is this here at? That's the big challenge. Maybe it was a little bit further back, and uh, it was just wasn't being pinged because at the time I didn't need it. Could be. That or it's literally in this hallway somewhere, one of the rooms on the side, and it's just stupid and not wanting to show up. Come on, guys, move. Oh, it's literally right next to the switch. <laughs> that is dumb as fuck. We have enough of these odds here. Let's head back to the door. I'm next to the dear door. Why are you telling me to head back to the door? There you go. There are special table missions you can only do while you're down here at one of your campsites that are specifically for this place, just so you're aware. Good no. Thank you to everyone that's currently watching the stream. I really do appreciate y'all being here. Not brittle earlier, and it is stuck in my teeth. This way. Ooh. It's so good, but I just hate when stuff is stuck in my teeth. Two out of eight. There's one in a Once I'm actively collecting materials, just to uh... make sure that they don't get confused with the gears. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you uh, of course. Stuff anyway. It's your favorite enemy. Fucking wanna be Jedi. Oh, I mean, you essentially made, you know, Cassandra a, a, a wannabe revenant. Fair enough. You know what? Fuck you. No, fuck you. Okay. 
Fucker's just gonna keep summoning on dead. Pretty much. But you can use that to recharge your ult. Eh, I can't figure that would be the case, but you know. Let's see if that would actually work. Places. Christ, does their defense just drop when the Revenant dies? Pretty much. The leader dies, they lose morale, and then lost morale means it's easier to kill. This looks like the platform from uh whatchamacallit from uh dragon age 2's fi uh, final dlc with corypheus when you're I mean, putting those buffs uh, yeah it seems like... oh it's a treasure map <laughs> Fervoring of guard penetration, oh baby. Why is it we've been finding things involving the word penetration? I don't know. I'd give that to either Barrick or Iron Bull. Enough money to buy place. some more of that influence. Yeah, that's the best way to do that late game is is like just buying it out, right? Because you know, once you're out of table nations and other things, there were stairs on the other end of the room that didn't go up. I thought that, no, that was blocked off by a wall. I was pretty sure. I did, yeah, it's blocked off by a, um, the wall of rock. And anyways, oh. that uh, that goes into um, back into the area where I was looking for the first set of gears. Uh... I didn't notice the rocks. I just oh, okay. saw the stairs. There you go. God damn it, these earthquakes, dude. You're in the fucking deep roads. That's, that's a common occurrence. Mm. You'll find out why. It's it can't really be that Titan thing that lady was talking about. Ow, something just hit me, man. Like, fuck. Oh, yeah, if those shield dudes charge at you, like, you, you will get your ass handed to you. They hurt. Shields don't matter in the face of the explosive mines. I was gonna say shields don't matter when you're putting things up somebody's butt. That too. Stop throwing shit at me. No. There's gear. Is it metal? Oh, this is really dangerous. I can't even yep. imagine. Tell me about their teeth. I've heard they don't all breathe fire, and their scales have different Just wait for one of your NPCs to be right behind you and push you off the ledge. Apparently, Ren wants to fight dragons just as bad as fucking Iron Bull. Yep. They're weird like that. Burn. Not the spooters. No oh, touchy. Seriously, don't feel you have an ice wall. You can use that to block them from getting you. Honestly, I only got it because it was in the way to another ability. I really never had any intention useful. of having it. 
It's pretty useful. Like, it's great for crowd control. There is also a firewall skill if you'd rather have that. That does sound interesting. I mean, it I doesn't physically block anything, but it, uh, you know, sets things on fire to get near it. I'll figure it out when I level up again. Yeah. I'm really trying to get more of my necromancer abilities. Oh yeah, no, you should definitely focus your specialization, but uh, if you do decide to use one of the respec tokens, um, you know, just keep certain other things in mind. I, it's over, Ogre One. I have the high ground. That was really bad. That was, that I, was really bad. I, I, I don't care. I enjoy you myself. You should there. be ashamed. Never. <laughs> Shame is for the weak. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and clear the area. Into the fade you all go. It's too bad that it doesn't recharge your ult, but every time it kills one of them, it should. I love it up. Hmm, I did? Yep, you're level 17. Alright, I'll take care of that in a minute. Away. Motherfucker's just dragging Cheryl of flames behind him. <laughs> oh, that, that all calmed the fuck down. I really want that walking bomb ability. It's pretty good. Well, if it's as powerful as the one from part one, then uh, I don't disagree with you. I don't remember if it was that powerful or weaker or stronger. I have no idea. Something just pinged. There's a gear in the fire. Hot gear. So now it's completely stuck. And something else just ping. Oh, the corpse. Not worried about the corpses right now. get the opportunity, don't forget to fast travel back to your original encampment, like whenever you come across a place that you can fast travel back and forth to. 
is uh, you have if you do those table missions at the original encampment, you can make shortcuts for yourself. And you can clear certain passageways and stuff that will lead to other treasures. A surprising amount of fucking fucking stat magical staffs for a culture that can't use magic. Yeah. Weird, isn't it? Could this be the tide, Hydrin? Dark spawn all over. You can see the Well, I kinda figured out where I need to go for that sketch. Only looks exactly like it from this angle. Oh yeah, no it is. That's certainly the right place. Oh, okay. You know what? Let me get away from the edge because you idiots keep trying to walk towards it. Yeah, you have a fast travel point. You just unlock right here on this ledge. So now. Oh, that's what that point. was. Okay. That's yeah. What okay. Was. Yeah, that's good. Um, so you might want to go back to the entrance and. Because okay. uh, yeah. you can build some bridges and stuff that will make that a little less precarious. Oh, okay. Just trying to figure out how to get back to the Legion of the Dead on the map. It's layered. It's a layered map, that's how. I found missing two in the bippity boop. It says busy. You have them working on other things, remember? Oh. The triangle ones are the easiest to, to get done because they don't require any time. Hey, I'll send them back to Skyhold real quick. Because the only person I was on a long-term mission was Cullen, I believe. The rest of them were on, like, short-term missions. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really sure what the hold-up would be then, uh, off the top of my head. Unless it has to be one that's done specifically by Cullen, because sometimes it's like they can only be done by one person. So, I'm a part of, like, a bunch of different groups on uh, Facebook, because that's pretty much all I use it for, is just to muck about in different groups just for shits and giggles. Uh, that's the same thing I do with Twitter. Like, I, I don't use Facebook anymore, but, like, I'll fuck around with and, memes and uh, stuff on Twitter. One of the groups I'm part of is, like, um, a kink <coughs> meme group, where it's just a bunch of memes about kinks and shit like that. Yeah, I think I have the same one. And... It was like, post a selfie and see how many people would put hearts, and that would represent the people that would fuck you just based off your, the look of you, of your look. So I was like, you know what, sure, why not? So I put one from like a year ago, because I pretty much just look the same, except my hair isn't as short. And oh my god, did I get a confidence boost. Yeah, that doesn't ever happen when I do that. I mean, it was only seven people, but come on, man. I got a fucking hell of a confidence boost, man. 
I got told I was ugly last time I tried to do something like that. Can and we that never upgrade one throne? Wait, the thrones are upgradable? Yeah, you can add more to them. Uh, there's different types and all you can get as you go. So you have like the level 1, the level 2, level 3. I think level 3 might be the highest. You might go higher than that. I don't remember. I didn't even know there was a fuck. Uh, the thrones are upgradable. They just again, have I more really... detail to them. And then again, I really don't know shit about shit, to be honest. Yeah, I'd go take a look at it and see. That's mm, the Andros Day Throne. Looks the same as always. Well, I mean, you have to go into the Undercroft and actually, like, equip the, the new one. It doesn't automatically get set on whenever you get new ones. Like, you literally get to decide, do I want the level 1, level 2, level 3? Like, you have to pick. Am I missing any banners? No, I have all the banners. Well, all, right. all the ones for now, the, other, the ones that you're missing aren't going to show up in the list. You have new beds. <clears throat> the French drapes. I'm not using the French or anything. I refuse to use <laughs> the French. I just saw them and was like, yeah, that's funny. <clears throat> Decor. I have ugly ass ones. Yeah. Didn't see any of these drones. No, it looks like it just I... upgrades automatically. Maybe it does. I remember being able to pick whether you wanted the level one, two, or three. But maybe I'm just misremembering. I always just set everything to Inquisition. Mm, it's too spiky for my taste. Mage is pretty cool. point in making a bow considering the only one who uses a bow is Sarah and Sarah sucks. She has a decent one already. Now I'm just upgrading uh Varric's uh parts. Mm. Masterwork gilded Bianca grip. When the hell did I get this? Uh, at some point. Thank you, Carl. I'm here to help. I see that. <laughs> Feels like it could be a waste, but at the same time, I really need to upgrade his bow more, so. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. And you have access to better equipment, you know, you definitely want to plug it have it. I want to increase the attack power. 15% is not bad. Just adding more attack might also just be good. Just There you go. Increase his crit chance too, because he already has a decent crit chance. Anything higher will be better. I mean, rogues in when... general are supposed to work off crit. Uh, Bianca, 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 do, 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 boom. Oh, right, I have to specifically go to him. <coughs> yep. Because of the uniqueness of his weapon. He gets a full on fucking tab by himself.
They're literally the same thing. I just made a second one for nothing. That's whatever. But that damage increase, though. That's damage. Holy shit on the chain. That did a lot of damage. And if yeah. you got a room. Yeah, I need to make some runes, but I need to get rid of all this junk first. Yeah, just remember, uh, runes are permanent, so maybe, potentially, make separate sets for dragon hunting. Oh, I was just going to give them a rune of uh, the living, since it hit anything that's alive get, uh, takes bonus damage. I mean, no, that's definitely good. I'm just saying, like, for, for when you decide to do full-on dragon hunting, just pure dragon hunter runes, like dragon slaying runes on a separate set of gear. Crap. Also, you have acknowledgement in chat. Hmm? Oh, hey, um, uh, hey, Coop, what's up? All right, so real quick, because I keep forgetting to do this. Accessories. What's this one for? This one's for coal. That's black walls. I don't want to use black walls. Oh, okay. I already equipped it. Too late. There you go. There, now those are taken care of. See, I always knew that I would get a decent crowd at night. I mean, yeah, you're just getting different time zones. I pause my porn to text you back, don't ever question my loyalty. <laughs> what? It was, it was just a meme that someone posted in that kink, uh, the kink meme group I told you about. Uh, I paused my porn for you and don't ever question my loyalty. <laughs> I just thought is, that was funny. No, that's that's hilarious. Like, also kind of true. I just normally make uh, home videos with my partner, and that becomes my porn. Yeah, boy. I, I, that would require more than me by myself. And I, I, I don't like myself to be. There's no greater loyalty than the one to yourself. Yeah, no. I am about to have an ass load of loyalty come in at once. Holy shit. I put you me are up. also broke as fuck. I don't care. Money can be re-earned. It's true. Now I have another Inquisition perk I can use. Lock picking. <laughs> but I want the special sale stuff. Well, I mean, lock picking will make the floor a treasure. <sighs> true. I know two spots I can go to right away to open those doors. Yep. <laughs> there's the one in the Fallow Mire, and there's a couple in the. Oh, the, the, the Koopy Whoopy rated with two people. Thank you. I mean, you notice. I don't know raid. why I thought you were going to say Koopy Koopy, and my, that's just where my brain went. Alright, there we go. I got the lockpicks. It's uh, super worth it to have that. I hope everyone's having a good time, and thank you for <laughs> joining me. Alright, let's make a couple of uh, stops real quick. Hold on, so I'll make two stops real quick before I... There's the one in the Falmire, and I don't know where the ones in the other ones are. Uh, on the farm <laughs> and in Redcliffe. There you go. I passed them a couple times. Mm. Uh. 
Quake 2 is one on Game Pass. I know my next game I'm playing after fun FNAF. FNAF, Fried Nights at Freddy's. Right. I knew that 100%. I, hmm, I, I, I was testing to see if you knew it. I know enough people obsessed with that series to uh, just kind of remember. Quality Kitty Triple Seven. Uh, created their Twitch account on January 13th, 2023, and been following me since March 4th, 2023. <laughs> I have not been here in a while. <clears throat> yep. Uh, I forget if he's already there or not, but you might be able to recruit the farmer here to work your stables. I already did. Heard him a long time ago. Mm, wasn't sure. Ready? Shut the fuck, you got me whole questioning everything else. Well, I'm just thinking if you see him here on the farm, talk to him real quick. He normally hangs out in his house. Yeah, no, he's he's already in my uh, thing. That's what I thought. In your thing. Okay. I, I genuinely couldn't remember myself. No, it's fine. I'm glad you said something. Because I, I really had to think about that. I didn't realize I had a personal quest. Oh. Well, there's there's reasons to go back to everywhere. Like you get character quests, you get you know, locked doors, all kinds of stuff. There's two of them over yep. here. Oh, well, damn. One's the windmill, I think. I'm mildly peckish. Bottle of liquor. Yep. Collectibles are definitely worth it. You get stuff oh. for them. Oh, no, I wasn't. It wasn't like I was complaining or anything. Oh, wow. Masterwork the, or name. The name uh, on Grip. that. The name on that fucking bottle when you picked it up, there was an. It, it said Princess Piss. Yeah, there's uh, one that says Dragon Piss, too. I found I just, that one a while back. I can understand somebody naming like a liquor dragon this or something like that. That kind of makes sense, but Princess Piss. Uh, there's a version of Mario that exists in a very particular part of the world that I don't want to think about now. Is it Germany? Oh, yeah, it's probably Germany. <laughs> or like Brazil or something, because they're into weird fart stuff and piss and stuff. Look. Uh, Fate Touch Obsidian, Tin Obsidian, and Sigil of a Tusk. 100% max health, but minus 100% armor rating. Fuck that. Yeah, so that's... Depending on what you're doing, like if you're, you know, a backline person, I'd give that to like a rogue or a mage. Because if they're getting hit anyway, like they're not doing it right. It does appear that I've gotten rid of all the red lingam in this area. So far. You need to kill the Venatori and then whatever that other one was. I think it was Vivian's. Yeah, I also want a Tome Bop Boop Zippity Boop Zippity Zoop Bop 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 Boop Bop. So you have another locked door in the Fallow Mire if you. Uh, <coughs> That was the one with the where that I killed that dude's son, the one that threw a goat at my building, my castle, right? Yeah, yeah. 
there, there's one there. There might be another one somewhere else. You'd actually have to actually look at the map in order to see where they are, but I know there's at the very least that one right at the castle entrance. All right, I'll deal with that one later. Cause I gotta, I'm gonna bring Black Wall with me. Because if I remember correctly, his uh, his artifact was on the other side of that door. Potentially. Oh fuck! I just realized I completed that mission for that table mission for Sarah, and I never talked to her about it afterwards. Skip my mind. I mean, she's so irritating to talk to. I don't blame you. Yeah, I need Colin specifically. Just to upgrade my camp, I need Colin. Can't do the intro to the base because you haven't been there yet. Okay, I'm hitting. I was, I was so confused. I was like, why the fuck is it not going down? Okay. Actually, probably gonna go to bed in a bit. I gotta mow the lawn tomorrow. What the fuck am I looking at? Oh, there's another gear. Something pinged over here. Is that cheese? All praise the Nug King. Sate his appetite with cheese. Older is better. Okay, left. Good conditioned bed for something that's been lost for who knows how long.
think that was the last gear I needed for this place. Should have been a total of eight I've used. Oh shit! How the hell was that standing there? Hot boxes in the air fryer. Fucker was just standing there all creepily. Okay. Yeah, all they, those, they do that. And all those artifacts went back to Ozamar. Yep. And you gained a bunch of influence and experience. <laughs> Except apparently that mug. I mean, the mug is collectible for you, so you're supposed to. Get as many of them as you can. And I found all I the gears. I never found all of them. For this area. I think so. there's definitely more gears for other areas. Oh, there is. Because when I came back, it said that there were, I was missing four, uh, like, like two, or something for this area, which I found already. Because I got two, I got two hundred influence for it. And I never found all the mugs or. I think I did all the gears, but I don't remember. I think it said there's 22 for the next area. Look at how precarious this, these bridges are. Like, that, that shit makes me nervous as fuck. I had to bring it up now. My skin's crawling. I'm just, I'm scared of heights, like, really, really badly. So, if I get, like, oh. above the second floor of the building, I start kind of having panic attacks. So, this fucks with me. Oh, I mean, like looking into that deep dark abyss over there. Oh yeah. I found a cheese bowl that was talking about the Nug King. Nug King. Yeah, this is where the Nug King is the thing, actually. I'm pretty sure the Nug King exists somewhere down here. Mm, supply cash. supplies okay we're gonna stop here for the night yeah. this is a good stopping point so. uh, yep there are 22 gears in the next uh, set of runes yeah. well that and I have to wake up in the morning and work on the backyard uh, mowing that sounds like not fun yeah, it never is. All right, thank you to everyone that joined me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, everyone, take it easy, and we'll catch you in the.